lights. Oh well, I'm hungry. Oh god! Let me just try a different cabinet. Oh my! Uh, I guess I can just do laundry. Guess I'll just watch TV then. Oh, come on! Fine, oh well. Annabelle Creation is the prequel to the prequel to The Conjuring and it's directed by David S. Sandberg who directed Lights Out and it's produced by James Wan who worked on both Conjuring movies, all of the Insidious movies, and all of the Saw movies and directed Furious 7. This movie begins with a husband and a wife and their little girl. Their little girl gets hit by a car and is killed. So then we jump 12 years later and they have turned their home into an orphanage and while these orphans, which are all little girls, are staying there, paranormal things start happening to them. Now guys, this movie really exceeded expectations for the modern horror movie genre because a lot of horror movies nowadays really rely on jump scares and don't really focus on the plot. But this movie didn't really have that many jump scares to be honest and it really focused on the character's stories. The actresses that played the two little girls actually did really amazing. It's hard to find kid actors who can carry a movie, but these two little girls did phenomenal. And not only just the little girls, but pretty much the entire cast of this movie did pretty great. Especially the father, uh, who also sounded like Liam Neeson. But at the beginning of the movie, before his daughter is killed, uh, and then afterwards, they're, they're two pretty separate characters because you can actually feel the pain that he's feeling after his daughter dies and he feels sympathetic towards him and then even in some scenes he actually feels sort of creepy because you don't know what he's thinking and what he's gonna do. A cool thing that this movie did was it did some nods to the Conjuring movies because believe it or not this is a Conjuring universe that they are trying to create. They also did some nods to the real Annabelle doll. And by the end of this movie, which we're not going to give away any spoilers, they did a good job of tying it into the previous Annabelle movie. And they did the creepiness factor in this movie pretty well. Uh, like we said earlier, they didn't rely on jump scares. They even had some scenes where they built up suspense to where you thought there was going to be a jump scare, but then there wasn't. But it did have its fair share of jump scares, but even what they did well with those was that wherever they did have these jump scares, uh, they didn't play loud music like a lot of horror movies do. They uh, allowed whatever was popping out to be the thing that actually scared you, and not just a loud noise or music. Now a negative that I do have about this movie is that it didn't feel really groundbreaking in anything that it really did. At times the story felt sort of generic, but even with that said, it still did better than a lot of generic horror movies that are coming out nowadays. So guys, this movie was really good. It was really creepy. Me personally, I've seen a lot of horror movies, so I'm able to judge them pretty fairly. And while I said before, this movie is really creepy, it's really good, but I wouldn't put it up there with the great horror movies that are out there. So, I'm going to give Annabelle Creation a B+. Yeah guys, this movie is definitely better than a lot of horror movies that you're going to be able to see nowadays, but I probably wouldn't put it up there with The Conjuring and a lot of other horror movies that are a little bit better. So I'm going to give Annabelle Creation a B. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe right here. And also comment below, let us know what you thought about Animal Creation and which movie you think is the best movie in the Conjuring universe. 
And like always, you will see us later.